Okay, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So, um, so Alice and Edwards, um, what, yes. was your, what was your role? My role was um, head of department. So I was in charge of creating the looks for hair and makeup. Yeah. Uh, I, once I've read the script, which is always the most important thing because at the end of the day, it's your guide, it's your, it's your everything so that you can create something that you hope is unique yeah. and um, always works well and walks hand in hand together with the dialogue and the journey of each character. Yeah. So that's always my kind of like premise. I always want to make something a little bit more than hopefully what the page, what when when the writing sits on the page, I want the actor of the character to really come alive. So the writer who just have, so happens to be yourself, uh, it's like seeing it. Um, hopefully, what you have in your mind, in your mind, you can see on your screen. We when we met um, through Duncan uh, for when we did yeah. Sex Life, yeah, um, we sort of formed a bond. We've been talking about films for you know for a long time. It just happened, just so happens to be Slammer, uh, British, yeah. Brit the British science fiction thriller that we you know that we that we um, we're working on but at the end of the day you know i mean you you helped with casting you helped with um sort of almost putting some of the ideas and concept under under the microscope and saying just talk me through this idea ted because you yeah. know helping to shape that idea like i've got a really good idea but we want to shape that idea and then yeah. when it came when it came to preparation Hair and makeup was so fun. I know nobody will argue. Hair and makeup was so fundamentally important to Slammer for all the ideas yeah. we'll, we'll talk about. I can't wait. I'm so I'm too excited to, to see this. It feels like it's been ages and ages since we started, you know, like I was driving all the way down to uh, Canvey Island around about that area, <laughs> weren't we? Essex. We filmed Essex. Yeah, block, block, block one in. So block one in Essex, block two in yeah. Greenwich, and block Greenwich, three. Yeah. Now, now we have to say, get this out. We'd have to, we have to get this up front straight away. But, but, but actually, you weren't around for block three. No, I wasn't. Well, COVID I mean, was came and interrupted uh, the whole flow of things. Um, it did. And then yeah. I got picked up to do something else. Not even in London. I was all the way in Eastern Europe. So. Yeah. Um, that got had a bit of juggling to get somebody in charge that I really trusted with. As far as I'm concerned, it's my baby. It is, um, as my baby. Yours is. but um, <laughs> to get someone that I trusted to take on that role and be able to make sure that the continuity matched. And you there know, were so many take... challenges. There were so many challenges. So when so we, when we when you agree to do this. Though, yeah. though when you agreed to do this it was like right okay well it's in this this time frame we're going to try and, and do it in this way um you know film yeah. filmmaking is always difficult a debut is yeah it was never difficult. it was, yeah it was never an idea that it would be chopped up in the way that it was but yeah. you know unfortunately there's a lot of things that you cannot control and that was one of them covid was something that we never even saw coming no we didn't never. see it coming so do you know, right. it was just it, like one of those. I remember, you, like, like you and and Charles Oakden and the guys looking at the schedule, and the pandemic yeah. hits, and it was like, rip it up, yeah. rip, 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 throw it out the window. Yeah. You know, we've got yeah. to, you know, rethink this. Um, but 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 just going back a step. So I remember mm. specifically um, in Greenwich, um, uh, in in the Chasing the Bear uh, studio, and uh, and we yeah. were and we were talk we were talking about. I don't I don't know if you remember this. But we were talking about a particular line in the story. I'm not going to give anything away by saying this. No. Whereby that's what I'm afraid of doing we're this. We're trying not to give away any, any too, it away. <laughs> too many spoilers, but certainly the hair theme I want to talk about. So for anybody yeah. watching this, anybody who, who's really intrigued by the, the hair and makeup, anybody who wants to get into that industry, anybody who really mm. loves that, you know, part element of, of film. Um, yeah, I was saying, look, she's her hair is going yeah. to physically change her appearance is going to physically change her 
you know, we're going to need to do something because she's going to go from this, this physical state, mental yeah. state, and she's going to transform into this physical. Yeah, and that was a journey within itself. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. How do we, you know, morph that from one look to the next? Do, do you know what I mean? Um, it was, it was a, it was um, a really good way of actually marking time. Um, exactly. It was absolutely, absolutely brilliant. Um, so, and I thoroughly enjoyed those changes. I really, I mean, I'm really tempted, but I'm not giving anything away because we have to wait <laughs> for, the, for the premiere. But, you know, I was really excited that the changes were going to come and that was not just to her hair. It was also to her physical, to her face as well. Um, and we're not using kind of like FX that is a digital form. We're actually having to physically change her look as oh, yeah. the story kind of like opens up and um that Absolutely. was great for me you know like they were so and they were such distinctive changes as well you know and you had I had to make them very different from one another because of the way that her journey was taking you know taking form absolutely and um it was it was absolutely brilliant my team uh, I'm allowed to name who they yeah, are, right? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, I, I've been going on the podcast. Go check, go to IMDb immediately. But you please, this is not, yeah. Absolutely, give a shout out to who, whom, every, whomever you wish. Okay, so the team was Turin Phillip, who has been my assistant for some time, and um, we got on her board, and she was really loving the whole concept of the story of Slammer. You know, medical scientist um, and or and woman trying to make her her breakthrough in science in science, and she gets kidnapped. Um, and then what happens to her after that was very intriguing. And I think um, Turin was very very fundamental in sitting down with me and having a conversation about how they're going to you know like how these changes are going to take place and how we're going to do it and how we're going to figure out how her face changes and and all that and yeah. um she was great yeah. and then we had abby who did all our prosthetic pieces um and she just come straight out of school you know so it's like very exciting and she made them all we didn't order them in from a company from way way back then they were specifically made for Flora's space. Absolutely, so, um, absolutely. And, and just, you know, your team were, were 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 brilliant because what they had to do, and they're working with somebody who's never done a feature film, is is show that degree yeah. of patience with somebody who is yeah. also uh, trying to understand the process as well. Yeah. Like you're very well writing it in a script, but now I've got to understand like the actual practical consideration. The physical process. Yeah. So you know. First of all, you re we read we I read my script. For most important, break the breaking down the script is another thing. Sto we break them down in like story days. So Flora has a look between this story part day and this day, and then we have a change, and that happens with every single character. Flora playing Anne, uh, Jane yeah. playing John, uh, Victoria yeah. playing Sophie. Sophie, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Clara playing um, uh, rat. rat. Well, I mean, you know, it, it, yeah, Miss Rutowski, but basically rat. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, then you've got, you know, um, again, like the, 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 the like the subtleties of, of 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 Sam's character, Mark. You know, like and, and so on and so forth. There's yeah. The, there's the sort of the, the big makeup set. Every single one of those characters has to have needs. its own individual look, and not only that, how I normally go about any project that I do is I want to know backstories. Who are they? What have they, you know, like, what do they like to eat? Where do they like to go on holiday? What's their star sign? How, <laughs> you know, like all of those kind of things are really um, fundamental to how the finished look of each character is going to look and what, what part, you know, like if they, if they have had like, uh, like for instance with Flora's for with Anne Waterman Flora's character 
Anne Waterman, who is she? You know, like what's the relationship between her and John? And, you know, all of these things, yeah. you, people don't think, oh, well, what's that got to do with the hair and makeup? It does because does she brush her teeth in the morning or does she leave it? If she doesn't brush her teeth in the morning, that means that her teeth have got to be yellow. That means that I've got to make them yellow. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's that kind of, kind of like process that actually makes a film of, you know, visually an yeah. interesting piece to watch. There's a you know, huge, you think about it, there's a huge psychological assessment that you must do on all the characters because if I sit right in the script, she's burning the candle at both ends and she's got yeah. all these physical ailments. Yeah. How does that visualize itself? Exactly. I mean, she's going to look tired. She's going to, you know, like have, I mean, I'll give them this much because right at the beginning, I'm not giving any, <laughs> but you know, like she has this horrible skin condition and, um, you know, how does that manifest? How does it look? Is it red, raw, bleeding? You know, all of these questions have to be answered before we even make a decision about making a prosthetic piece for that particular character. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you yeah. know? Um, and I think um, one thing that I was really surprised about was that Flora really enjoyed the horribleness of that, you know? She really enjoyed the, the look of it, you know, because obviously it's not her skin skin but we've made it look so real that she just sat it with it really really well I have, I have to say I have to say I think I think that people I think you're, you're, you're right people will be uh captivated because you know uh, how many times have you been uh, on a set and the and the, the the starting point is this person has to look beautiful and this person has to, yes. you know, it, many, that, many that times. The, that is the that is the the the, the default position. We yeah. done... the last two projects have come up then come off of it starts there. Yes. You know what I mean? This person has to look at we've gone the other way, you know, being yeah. the, the sort of the the the, the British um uh, uh independent, you know, where you've got the flexibility perhaps to present a universe that goes completely in so many ways against the grain. A slammer's world is very different from any other world. Yeah. I think we need to say it. She's going into this med prison and she's yeah. getting fixed. She doesn't yeah. know it. Yeah. You have to signal visually this, these changes. Yeah, yeah, Hair yeah. and makeup is incredibly important in doing yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, and then the, there was other thing with the Joe, the detective's character as well. To show her timeline, I bought her two wigs. So she has one where it's much, I can't remember which way around I did it now. So there, was, there was one where she's, she's so, so you're talking about Josephine Melville who plays Detective Russell. So she, Russell, she's, yeah. a detec she's a detective. Yeah. She also has her own twist. Yes. And she also goes through her own journey as well. Yes, yes. I don't really want to give so, away that. I don't, I don't yeah, really want to give away that twist. But I can't remember which way, way around it is, but she has two wigs. Um, and that was great. And um, I loved her character. I mean, I have to um, mention about Dion because Dion came in halfway through because if you remember I was teaching at the film school so there was a day that she came in to yes, cover that's right. me that's right yes that. yes indeed yes yes, yes and yes. I couldn't I couldn't give up that moment but she um she she really um as far as I'm concerned she represented very very well and she had a great time and she loved it which Man. is hence that when we came, when you came to shoot the rest of it, yeah. the third block, yes, that she deal already was knew. on. She already advisor. knew what was going on, and she was juggling um, yeah. strictly. She was juggling. Yeah, she was doing strictly. Yeah, I spoke to her. She, she was like, well, She was juggling strictly. You were juggling. Yeah. But you would. What you had done is you had created this Bible, the Slammer Bible, with. Yeah. Where we, I don't actually. I mean, it, uh, Tarin has it at uh, hers, but it's this thing of every yeah. decision you've made, every. Every decision, every this, every that, everything's carefully, like yeah, marked and detailed. Yeah, 
so, so that if at anybody that, came in, yeah. yeah, if anyone came in, if I called up Nora or I called up one of my other beautiful makeup artists, that I could just, they could just open that book and everybody's journey and everybody's makeup and all the scenes were there for them to just flick through, yeah. have a look at their visuals, the visuals and the, read the notes and then be able to transfer yeah. that onto our actor. Yeah. So that was really, that was really cool. And, to, and, and jo John and Jackie were like presenting things that were 50s, 60s, 70s. You know, yeah. so again, you're, you're working together very closely with the costume guy. Yeah, John and Jackie. They were the most beautifulest angels and they just live next door. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they were thrilled. Uh, you know, do you want to you come over? Do you want to come over here, guys? You know, and uh, get involved in this. And I and I, it was really funny because I said to them, they said, "How long?" They said, "How long will it take? How long will it take?" Yeah. I would have told, I would have told them, you know, oh, we'll do, we'll do it probably in a few months. You know, oh, little did yeah. I know. Little, little did, did I know. You know. But going back to Jackie and John, they the the. I call. I was only speaking about them to somebody about three or four days ago, and I called the uh, costume the costumers. They have like an Aladdin's cave of costumes. Incredible! And do you remember when we did the when we went through and you were going through all the fittings and everything? Oh and my we god! Walked through, we walked through the. I don't even know what to call it. It's like an Aladdin's yeah, cave. A genuine, a genuine Aladdin's cave. And do you know, do you know what's amazing about that? Yeah. And what's amazing about that? They've been in the industry for you know so, so long, and they've stored yeah. all these incredible pieces. So we had, I mean, we had the we had the choices that massive feature films have. In fact, yeah, I, they won't mind me saying this, but they're on massive, massive feature films. And we yeah. we were able to to work with them and have that resource, and then you, so we knew the costumes were going to be perfect, the hair was going to be perfect, the makeup was going to be perfect, the looks were going to be perfect. We just the set that. was amazing, the set was incredible for what you know what. Yeah, I mean for what what is a small British? I mean I don't like using that word small because it's it's ma it's massive, but it's independent. Yeah. So what happens when I saw the costumes? Oh, so I've got to go. <laughs> I was. I was like, oh my God, because it was, it's a makeup artist's dream to know that you've got the quality of these costumes and I want to match this up with hair and makeup. So I did very classical um, 1960 look, 1950s, like late 50s, early 60s look on, uh, on um, Victoria. Victoria. Sophie, yeah. And um, who played Sophie? And um, and it just worked every time really I did that makeup. It I was really, like, it really does. Oh my god, it really it's does so work. beautiful. And, 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 and it's a great contrast with Anne Waterman. Do you know what I mean? Yes. The contrast between Anne and Sophie was like night and day, really. You know, yes. it, 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 really, really strong roles. I got the best team ever, but I'll take I'll take the credit because these roles were visually striking and clever. They're clever. Yeah. They're clever roles as well. They're, they operate on lots of different layers. So you've got this very... classical beauty, this classical look yeah. you know, on the one hand, and then you're making James, you know, he's going, he's going through the mill. If you add the fact that John is an agrophobic, who's got oh, yeah. his own uh, personal- Don't give that much away, don't give that much away. <laughs> well, the thing is, if you're watching this, if you're, I feel if you're watching this, you, des you deserve to know a bit because, you'll appreciate just how much effort has gone in. And you, and Ali, you've got the best team. I'm going to give a shout out. You know, we've mentioned, we've mentioned Turin, we've mentioned uh, Abby, we've mentioned uh, yeah. uh, 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 um, uh, Dion. Dion. We should mention that we had, um, we had our trainee Izzy, we had um, an, an yeah. Maisie, we had uh, yeah. uh, uh, the, the extra um, uh, hairstylist for, for block three, yeah. uh, Patrick. Um, Patrick, yeah. You know, I, I mean, I mean, I'm hoping. Big team. I'm, I'm yeah. really hoping I'm not for an independent. For an independent, it's not like you and one other person, and you just got to juggle it. But we were really fortunate enough to have a great team um, that came in and just gave 
the all to towards it. Oh, good. You know, like yeah. every single day. I, I have to say, I have to say, one of the things that I learned that you taught me that is really important is you've got to go with your instincts. And it had all these layers in it. And, and I was very proud to hand it over and you read it and you liked it. You read it and you went, okay, we're going to go with it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's very ambitious, Ted. It's very ambitious. Yeah, we did say that. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna go with this, and and, and we're gonna interpret it as best we can, and we're gonna you know with limited resources, we're gonna go with it. Okay. <clears throat> and both you and Flora, in in all fairness, went. It's crazy, but fantastic. <laughs> a lot of other a lot of other people might have gone what have you been smoking you know what is <laughs> what is what is going on here instead yeah. instead you went okay let's digest that let's think about it practically let's 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 work out the detail and then just let's just go let's just go for it let's go for it yeah 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 and i love that yeah. no it's i mean thing is you never know how things are going to shape i mean a film is sometimes when you're making it, especially independent it's almost like having a piece of clay yeah mm -hmm. yeah you know kind of like the shape that you want to get it into but until the final you know like bits of sprinkled of dust go on it you never know what you're gonna actually end up and editing is such a thing it can change a film Nasty. from being you know like a piece of shit to a bloody wall piece of a masterpiece <laughs> do you know what i mean so, you know, like all of these elements that work, you know, like set design, I have to be coming back to that because every time I came to the studio and we saw the prison, it was like another, it was like on another realm. I remember the first bits that we had and um, uh, we was being shown the, the matting and the, the, the hexagons that were in it, it were really important things mm. you know for the textures and everything that when you light that that when you put flora inside of it yeah you know it becomes this world that you know like only she's able to um experience but now you've got the whole audience that are able to see yeah her yeah i remember as well that in the story she sees everything but no one knows where she is and i that's what i loved about this story that nobody knew where she was yeah but you know she's able you know she's having another experience inside but being like outside it madness madness it, but as, it, as you it, said it, i said let's it, go it, for it the world inside and the world outside i mean when we would talk to you and i so there'd be you me murray uh michael yeah. passmore dan passmore um, yeah, you know, the, the guys who are creating, you know, creating this, and um, you know, you've got, yeah. you've got you've got professional CAD drawings, you've got the science behind it. You know, it has to sort of make logical sense. It's yeah, playing on that Hitchcock voyeurism. You know, there's yeah. so much juicy stuff that is part of of this world and this universe. But you're right; it isn't just about the inside; it's about the outside, and it becomes yeah. a, a metaphor. You know, yeah. and, and it's. Yeah, I, I mean, I mean, you would you would go in and go, <laughs> you'd be like, okay, so my looks are gonna fit within this this the prison or whatever it is. Yeah, you know, every single choice had to be very carefully worked out. I I, I sort of joked at the beginning, saying we'll be talking about this for twenty years. I cannot wait to to show the world. Blink, yeah, and you, you blink and you'll miss something. I guarantee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't okay. have any. We don't have any big explosions. We don't have any car chases. You know, yeah. yeah. It's like everything is there. And if you but and can, if I you... tell you something. I finished working on a ITV police drama, mm -hmm. and the low loader that you had on no. Slammer no. was better than anything anybody have ever shot with. It was the most amazing low rider. And I was telling the ITV people, well, I was on this independent film and the <laughs> low rider had a bar in it and music and it was all velvety. And this is like a, what is this? <laughs> so, so I sort of took your advice. You yeah, because you can be pulled in so many different
different directions. You've got so many people because you're not only the writer, you're also a producer, you're also a director. That's a lot of hats to be wearing. You know, on your first, it's very brave. That's I told you that before. It's, it's very, very brave. <laughs> it's 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 you it's know, it's, um, it's stupid. But the but the reason why I think is because the age that I am, um, the fact that I've wanted to do this for so long, the fact that I could rely yeah. on, that I could rely. I mean, this film only got made because of two hundred and fifty, you know, strong friendships. Let's be let's be honest. This film only yeah. got made. Yeah because there were people going, it sounds pretty mad, let's give it a go, let's give it a go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, so I've got to the point where I've known some of these guys for years and years and years and years and years. It's not like the, the day before we're gonna go try and, you know, try and do this. It's like been years was you gave all that time before the cameras even, the cameras even, but like all that time before the cameras even ro rolled. Rolled, yeah, yeah. Because I was trying to, because I knew you wanted to, first, for instance, the cat, uh, Detective Russell. Yeah. That, that was a, that was a very much of a process of trying to find the right actress that you wanted. And you were adamant that you wanted a woman of colour, which was, um, and you were adamant that you wanted that role to be a black woman, which I was just like, oh my God, that's just, excuse me, am I not, I think, fantastic do you know what I mean and then I was able to like sort out from people that I'd worked with before to push them in your direction an awesome yeah. choice and and you were the you were instrumental you know you were absolutely instrumental you were like you literally were like I know you're about to make a decision but just look look you've got to look at these people you know yeah. all of them all of them were brilliant all of people that you know friends of yours that you know that just yeah. happened to be that just happened to be extraordinarily talented individuals People, yeah. would yeah. walk in, kindly have a chat, hear yeah. me talk about the character, yeah, whatever, and I and I had so many wonderful choices, and then and then and then Joe walked in, and Joe walked in yeah. dressed. That like was a so funny. Joe, she came dressed. As the character, being dressed as the character, her eye, Without any prompt. her look, her 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 manner, her everything, her, her beautiful personality, you know, just 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 took it on and absolutely nailed it. Absolutely, but that must be a director's dream when you see someone walk oh. into a room. I you, and, uh, you, you 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 and I looked at each other. Like Joe, Joe yeah. kindly read some. Because I didn't know she was going to come dressed as the character. Do you know what I mean? I thought she was going to have her jeans on, a little t-shirt, little jacket. No. And we no, looked no, no. at each other, and we were like, "When it's rare, it's rare." I think it. Well, I'd like to think it happens on every film. Um, yeah, every I don't think film. So. I, I, I don't have any frame of reference because I've only directed one one film. But it just was lightning in a bottle, you know. Yeah. Um, but I also, all the people that you've recommended to me, I want to work with every single one of them. And you know who else kind of like, I loved as soon as she came in the room and I had nothing to do with her getting that job at all, um, was Rat. Um, Clara Hickman, Clara, Clara Hickman. Clara, yes. Clara Hickman. So she, so she, so it was brilliant. So, so she, so she, you know, she obviously auditioned and, you know, she, um, it's her first role. <clears throat> Excuse yeah. me. And um yeah, like gotta say, I've gotta say, and it go to go on the casting journey with you, you know, yeah, um, was really lovely as well. Because we can go on that casting yeah. journey, you know, we could talk about the fact that our birthdays are on the same same date. First of August. First of August. Yeah. Share a birthday. First of August. But you know, <laughs> um Hansa Gret, uh Hans Gret. To play on Hansel and Gretel. Yeah. Yeah, you do. You Which are... I loved. I love that. I love that. Um... You, 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 do, you, you are, you are an Hans Gret employee. You're absolutely right. Yeah. And you can, and if you look really carefully, if you look really carefully, you can see you. Oh. You can see you. Yeah. You know, in the lab. <laughs> you can see you in the lab. Yeah. I thoroughly enjoyed that. Um. 
Uh, I'm just going to quickly go, go to the website because just uh, I, I've sort of been doing. Well, I was of... trying to find it. What is the address? Yeah, Slammerfilm.com, slammer right? Oh, Slammerfilm.com, right? If you go to Slammerfilm.com, there's a countdown. There's a countdown, Ali. Okay. It currently says 57 days, one hour, wow. 11 minutes, and well, now it's 10 minutes and 57 seconds. If the first yeah. time you're watching it is one of the greatest cinema screens in London. No, 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 I'm gonna wait. Then why would you see you're it? Right. Why would you see it this big? Yeah. When you can, see, can it see it on a on big. a screen the size of a of a small house. You had plans as well, didn't you? I mean, I, mean, I, I time has no meaning anymore because when you because <gasps> because Do, Dominic Dominic is five now, right? Oh bless. And when he he, he was asked, "What does mummy do for a living?" and he said a lawyer and then he said what does daddy do for a living and he went slammer <laughs> that is brilliant <laughs> oh mg that is so cute uh, <laughs> dear Lord. but we'll definitely um thank you again okay. ali is such a star take, right, care. Babe. take care bye love bye. you lots